Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciated you taking a little time out of your day to watch the video. And man, today's video, it's taken me forever to get around to this. I've had a lot of requests to do it. And that is, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on snaps versus O-rings, what you should use on your baits. And I've had a ton of uh, experience with this, man. I've been using both of them for over 50 years and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it might uh, help you uh, not only catch some more fish but not lose as many fish after you get done hearing what i got to say with it but anyway before we get started here i just want to take a second and give everybody a huge thank you uh, for supporting the launch of the block at old school jig guys we sold over four thousand jigs the first week we were announced there and uh, it's just been very humbling to say the least and uh we've actually we've uh put the, the pre-sale we've basically uh stop taking orders for a few days to get caught up. We're gonna trying to get caught up on getting all these orders out. Um, the whole process of getting these, the jigs themselves, they are so complex to tie that um, it takes a, a big learning curve for the people that are tying them to learn how to do it. So we're going through that process. I appreciate your guys' patience for that initial order. And we'll be up and rolling again probably in a few days and you'll be able to order them again on the Baitworks link. I'll go ahead and include, include the link in the description, but. Uh, We've sold out of the pre-order, so uh, um, that's just much appreciated. And um, I just, I, I really feel that you guys that ordered them, you're really gonna like the jig. Um, I put a tremendous amount of work into this jig, and so has Baitworks. Uh, all the people there at Boat, Boatworks, Stephen Strejic, Drew Sanford, everybody there has been a big help helping, helping us get this project launched. And um, I really think it's gonna catch some good fish for you guys moving forward. Okay, well, so let's talk about the snaps versus O-rings, guys. Um, I've used both forever. Man, for, like I said, for over 50 years. And um, a lot of people, I tend to think that they would rather go to a snap because of the efficiency on it. A snap is quick. Um, it doesn't take anything to do it. You can switch lures back and forth real quick. And uh, I even see a lot of guys putting snaps on O-rings, you know, so I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, and then I'm gonna explain to it why. In my opinion, there's only one time you should ever use a snap. The only time, guys, I ever use a snap is on a chatterbait, and that's just because I can't get the bait to work right without a snap on there. Everything else, I use O-rings 100% of the time. And the reason I do this, and the reason that you should do the same thing, is that o-rings do not fail the only time that an o-ring will fail is if you're using a super light o-ring and you put it on a lure eye that is really thick and it bends out that it basically separates the uh snap on it and then you lose some of the integrity on that but you normally that is with a poor quality snap i mean a poor quality o-ring if you use a, a high quality O-ring and you put the correct size of O-ring versus the size of the, the, the eye tie on the bait, you'll never have that problem. So um, in my opinion, an O-ring is the only way to go. The reason I say that is I've had so many snaps fail over the years. And what happens, and it, you guys can, you'll probably say, oh, if you use such and such snap, I've never had any problem with it. I can promise you guys a snap is a weak link and you will get that thing hung up and when you pull on that thing the the mechanics of the snap itself cannot take the type of pressure that you can put on an o-ring eventually it weakens all of the component and all of the weak points on the snap and you're going to open that snap up you're either going to break it or you're going to open it up eventually and uh, also you just never know when that thing comes across a limb or a piece of rock that you might trip that snap open and lose the fish, lose the big one, especially if something's pulling hard. So I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, in my opinion, if you got, a, if you got snaps in your box, throw every one of them away. The only snap that you should use is on a chatterbait. And uh, the key on using the right O-ring, guys, it's using, like I said, it's, it's matching the O-ring to the lure that you're using. Most of the ones that I use, I use them all off of the Mega Bass Vision 110. If you guys look at that snap, that O-ring that's on the Vision 110, it's a dark colored snap or O-ring. It doesn't stand out. It's super, super strong. It doesn't open up. 
but you basically get what get what you pay for on a snap on an O ring. I keep mixing the two up. If you guys look at some of the more some of the cheaper made like crankbaits and lures on the market, if you find one of those three dollar ninety nine cent crankbaits or something, you can guarantee it's got a low quality O ring on it. So, uh, you know, shop around, shop your terminal tackle and all you know different stores around wherever you buy your tackle and try to get a good quality O ring, and uh, you know replace them if you have a, a poor one on there but eventually like i said um snaps are a weak link in my opinion they're you know just like i talk about braid to fluorocarbon being a weak link a snap is another weak link also the thing on a snap guys is a snap based upon again the size of the snap you're using it creates more of a visual deterrent to the bass some of those snaps i mean they're they're up to a half inch long depending on how big you use them and that just, to me, that just creates something else the bass can tune in on. And if you try to go down and size a snap, then you're going down in the diameter of the wire and it even becomes weaker. So tip for today, guys, is trash all your snaps, get a good quality O-ring, replace all your baits with high quality O-rings, stop putting your snaps onto an O-ring. There's no reason you should ever, ever do that. That's, to me, that's a that's a mistake that people just that just start out in fishing and do that don't really know any better. But uh, get a good quality O-ring and you're going to be a lot better off in, in the uh, in, in in the long run with it. So that's the tip for today, guys. I much appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm getting ready to head down to Florida in the morning. Keep you guys updated on how the Bassmaster Open goes down there, and we'll talk to y'all later.